during the trial, how would you encourage productive discussion and ideas from your assistants with, rela with relation to selection? Timmy, you go, man. Productive discussion with assistant coaches. Cup of coffee, cup of tea to start with, perhaps. <laughs> um, um, I, I think a lot of good discussions are because the other person's listening. Um, you know, listening to what someone has to say mm. is pretty much the key to a good conversation. Like, you know, there's that, that mutual thing. So I think there's, they've got something to say. Um, uh, maybe, maybe if you give the, assist, if you're the head coach, for instance, maybe if you're asked the assistant coaches to be responsible for particular areas, mm. give them really specific things. Like uh, I really want you to, focus on on um on defense you know or rebounding um and um just say well you know tell me about that focus on that talk to me about who are the good help defenders or whatever and i think you know that gets that buy-in and having that that uh sense of involvement the captain's log is, i think is a great thing to do there and get them to write down and have their input I would also think setting up the parameters of discussion, like I know um, I work with, uh, very fortunate to work with Bob McGugan for many, many years. And Bob's, you know, amazingly experienced coach and been to, you know, um, probably about 15 world junior world championships, the most of anyone in Australia and seen those. And he was of the view that he felt like most coaches that he'd encountered coach on the negative far too much. That we coach um, on what the kid can't do as opposed to what the kid can do. And that's a way I think you can work with the assistant coaches and your coaching staff in saying, find out what they're good at look yeah. for what they can do rather than coming over and usually it's like no oh, that this kid can't do that you know she's not good at this she's always been like that she doesn't do that but hang on so what what can they do and i think that's a big part of that discussion and i would try to foster and develop that sort of thing and then it gets you thinking just think get you thinking more positively about the game too i mean You've got to think positively about things and not be just a misery guts about stuff all the time. I mean, you know, have a joke with the assistant coach. There you go. Make a gag. Do an impersonation of them or something. <laughs> well, I think it's a good point to remember we do do it because we do enjoy it. We, um, we sometimes do forget that. I think um, in my experience, um, my points won't be as... Uh, in depth or as uh, knowledgeable as what Tim's were. But I think in my experience uh, with selections, sometimes it, it, again, it's about just having that conversation before the assistance of, of how the process is going to work. So I'm often big during the trial. I don't want a lot of campfire discussions going on because we get caught up in talking amongst ourselves instead of actually watching the kids play. Because too often with tryouts, I think the status quo happens. These kids have made it before. We pick them again automatically um, rather than actually analysing and watching what's actually going on and seeing if someone's actually developed or if this kid hasn't progressed and things like that. So I'm big on like actually watch the session, analyse what's happening and then come back to us with basketball specific um, reasoning and detail of why you want to pick a kid. I think one of the coaches I had a bit of experience on the periphery of seeing how detailed his process was selecting team was Darren Perry, um, the Australian under 19 men's coach and the Victorian, long time Victorian state coach. He was with the men's um, and how detailed he was in demanding of his assistants to actually give specific examples. If they said, oh, he's a scorer or this, okay, when, when did he do that? You know, and then we'll look back at the tape and actually make sure that happened. Not, don't just give me these vague comments that may or may not have happened or, you know, something that's not relevant, like try and be really detailed and specific. 
Um, because I do think sometimes the status quo happens and, oh, this kid's always made it, so we pick him again. But have they got better? Can they Do they actually have a skill set that's going to help us? Um, do they actually do and perform what we, we actually are asking for? So, I mean, for me, if you can get data of things that helps, um, like with East Coast Challenge and things like that, would always stat that because that's, you know, actual information of how people perform, shooting percentage, um, points scored, rebounds, assists, plus minus, that all helps. It's not going to make your decision, but it helps influence your decision. And then I think video, if you can access it. And I know that everyone's a volunteer coach and time poor and things like that. And, um, you know, I'm lucky to, to work in the sport, you know, in different ways um, full time. So it's, it is different, but, um, I know I still had that mindset when I was a volunteer coach at Maitland. It was, well, this is my thing. How am I going to pick the best team I can? So try and find a way to, to make that, you know, Mark Radford always says, make where you're at your NBA. And I think that's um, what you've got to try and do. And if don't think, well, when I get the state team, that's how I'll pick a team. I'll have a really detailed process in that. Try and work on that now because you'll refine that. Um, but yeah, definitely engaging those assistants and knowing you want to value their opinion, I think is key. Uh, and actually listening to them, Tim, your points were right. Like I remember bailing up my development coach and with the state teams and asking, well, what do you think? You know, give me some stuff. And he, he, he shat his pants the first time because he didn't think he'd get a say. And I'm like, no, I want to see what you're seeing because it just gives me a different opinion. But, um, but make sure it's relevant. Make sure it's not just a random vague comment. Give me something specific and let's have a conversation and pick the best kids you want. Because at the end of the day, that's what we all want to do. We want to pick the best team we can possibly pick because that makes us look good as coaches because we'll probably win more.